Welcome to Gear Talk. Talking Gear. I'm Ross, this is Brandon. We are very excited today to be talking to a couple of good friends from Listen Technology, Sam and Mikey. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Thank you so much for having us today. I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you very much. Mikey, Glad to be here. <laughs> thank you, we're happy to have you. Um, why don't we start real quick? Let's just do a lightning round. Start it fast. All right. Hit him, Ross. Okay, so we're talking about Listen Talk today, and let's get some basic FAQ out of the way. How many transceivers, how many LK1s can I have within a single group? It's a great question, and I love, you know, it's, uh, it's a fun answer because there's really no limit to how many transceivers you could have in a given group. The only real limitation we have are the number of groups you could have in a given area. And that is kind of cool because we just, with some software updates that we just did, that number increased from 10 to 20. But as far as the physical number of receivers that you could have in a group, we would pretty much break the fire code before you started uh, exceeding that number. I like that number. Yeah, it's open. Well, if you're looking for friends. How many simultaneous talkers can there be? You can have up to three simultaneous speakers in a conversation. What is the operating range? Uh, great question. So uh, on a typical system, we can go 300 feet indoors and 600 feet outdoors. Uh, that's a line of sight spec. So, you know, the only things that could possibly impede that is if you're, you know, we're talking about, you know, going through multiple walls or that sort of thing. But typically we can go 300 to 600 feet. Uh, depending if it's an indoor and outdoor environment, which uh, for most of the applications seems to work really well. And if I'm using Listen Talk, how many simultaneous different groups of Listen Talk users can I have at once? So in a single space, you can have up to 20 separate groups. How do I make an LK1 the group leader? Okay, can I demonstrate that for you? That'd be great. Absolutely. Okay, so you take this device, you take this little red clip and you put that red clip in the back of it. And you're done. That is it. That is the very complex procedure of making the uh, device the Listen Talk leader. We uh, really try to follow the philosophy that the people who use this equipment, we don't want them to have to be technology experts. If we have to go through a, you know, a 10 minute training video, or go through 15 different steps, then this is probably gonna sit and collect a lot of dust. If you can learn how to do it in about five to 10 seconds, then there's a lot higher chances of this getting a lot of utilization. So we try to go with that uh, methodology. Awesome, and for an LK1, what is my average runtime, battery life? On a full charge, so there's two different modes in Listen Talk. So we have what we just showed, which is the leader mode where you're kind of always on where your device is always active, your mic is always going. And in that mode, you have uh, about seven-ish hours of battery life. And then you also have the participant mode where you don't have the red clip on. Uh, and in that mode, you have approximately 12 hours of battery life on wow. a single charge. So we could, I mean, the good news is in almost any typical environment, we can get through you know, the majority of a full day without having to replace batteries. Awesome. And if I really like the idea of Listen Talk, but I'd like to try it before I buy it, is there a program available to help me? Absolutely. Listen has a 30 day uh, long term demo program free of charge. Audio Gear has a demo kit. They'd be happy to help you out too, I assume. That is correct. Whenever possible. What about this software update that, that you've mentioned a couple times now? If I've got some older units, what does it cost me to get my older units updated with this new software? So I have a Venmo or uh, Apple Pay. That you can, oh, I'm kidding. So it's a really great price. It's the favorite price. It's free. Oh. So there's no cost. So if you have an existing Listen Talk system, it's a very simple process to, uh, and I know that it's simple because I always emphasize that I am the uh, VP of sales at Listen, not the VP of technology. <laughs> so I was able to do it myself with my own devices, which is, is always a challenge. Uh, but this was a very simple and easy process to update my own units. Um, so you just, it's the free software update right on our, that you can go through and you get uh, some really cool features, including the ability to do simultaneous language translation. You do get that additional third talk path. 
And as I mentioned earlier, it also gives you, uh, we moved from 10 simultaneous groups in close proximity, and now we have 20. Sam, if you want to go ahead and give out your uh, Venmo handle, we can crowdsource <laughs> yes. Listen Talk 3.0 right now. Yes, that, that, that will be the, uh, you know, I'll be I'm taking pre-orders. <laughs> um, okay, so Listen Talk 2.0 out now, free upgrade, uh, lots of fun new features. I imagine that is kicking the door open into some new uh, applications or, or some other areas where Listen Talk was maybe used, but now can be used more thoroughly. Uh, let's talk about language interpretation for a sec. Are you seeing some adoption there with Listen Talk? 100%. You know, that was really the driving force behind why we did this whole upgrade. Um, we've seen Listen Talk be used in such a wide array of applications. But the one thing that we were really hearing is people wanted to be able to a simplified process for language interpretation where someone could wear a single device, listen to the floor language, you know, using their headset and then be able to give that translation and be able to translate out to that other group who, you know, and we'll just assume in this case, say the floor language is English. They wanna hear the English in their ear speaker, talking to their microphone in Spanish and have the group that they're intending to hear the Spanish translation in a very simple and easy fashion. And in the current format with the software update, that's exactly what it allows you to do. We have what we call an interpreter mode, which allows you to designate a unit as an interpreter. So you're hearing in your ear one channel, but you're broadcasting out on another channel. So you can give that translation very simply. You don't need like a separate box or a separate you know, language interpretation station. You can do it with a single device. So it's just uh, for a wide array of applications, You know, whether it's tours who, where people are on there who are speaking multiple languages, whether it's an education application, there's so many different places, you know, particularly here in California where we're at, we have multiple languages that are spoken in a, in a single facility, church, uh, you know, or other houses of worship is another example. So it's just something that take, you know, we're, we're basically taking something that we had so many different uses for and then adding additional applications to that, which I love. Yeah, I know that we've seen them as a part of some of the city councils in Long Beach um, that, you know, they needed to previously meet all kind of a dais and they were all pretty tightly packed and now they're spreading themselves out each one with their own six foot table inside of uh, the college gym. You know, they're really spaced out. They can't hear each other or have any type of normal communications uh, as they used to. And Listen Talk has, has given them the ability to at least hear one another. They do uh, still walk up to a microphone to speak to the group because that's how they sort of control who speaks when. But integrating that microphone back into Listen Talk uh, was as simple as plugging it, plugging it into the mixing board that was there. Um, made are it very you, easy. Are you seeing a lot of hybrid solutions like that where I might have some form of an integrated sound reinforcement system, be that a training room, a gym, a conference room, and, and adding Listen Talk maybe for some overflow areas or auxiliary spaces? I've seen a couple that are that are really the ones that immediately come to mind have been the education space. Um, as we kind of moved from just 100% online learning to moving students back into school, uh, what we saw a lot was again the similar thing where we have students kind of spaced apart, uh, very similar to the uh, council chamber application that you were just discussing, Brandon. And we found that we've seen this used as a mechanism so that. Uh, we're at a lot of times that they'll either have the device attached to like a projector or a flat screen and then another device, you know, attached to the sound system in the room. So we're almost using this like a hybrid uh, sound field system yeah. so that everyone in the room could hear all the audio and hear one another almost as a microphone. Um, and then sometimes, you know, if it's a hybrid situation, they'll also have a device tied into the teacher's laptop. So any of the remote students can hear everything that's going on in the room as well. So it's, I mean, it's funny, this is like a Swiss army knife. Another thing that we've seen that reminds me a bit of the application that you were discussing, Brandon, is one of the fastest growing markets that we've seen for Listen Talk has been courts. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Listen has been in courts forever because of just basic assistive listening requirements. Our infrared systems have been a part of courts, you know, in, for time in memoriam. But what we found is throughout the, the issues going on in our world over the last several months, uh, some of the normal things that would go on in a courtroom as far as sidebar conversations or even an attorney having a conversation with his or her client, you can't get within whisper distance of one another anymore in, in the way that you that you had in the past. 
Um, but all the, you know, in certain cases, some of those conversations need to be recorded, right? They have to be officially on the record. Uh, so to your point, what we found is we could take one of our devices, since all of these can be made line level, we'll tie it into the court reporting system. Uh, so any of these conversations are, are still on the record. There, there's a full recording of them. But at the same time, if you need to have a sidebar conversation, you could still keep a distance apart and hear one another clearly because you could stay, you know, at your desk and a judge and lawyers can communicate clearly without having to get, you know, within close proximity of one another. And, you know, it's funny, we kept thinking that as, you know, seems funny to talk about this today, with some of the recent news, but as we thought we were kind of coming out of this with uh, some of the mandates ending and, uh, you know, uh, some, a lot of things are starting to open up, we thought that some of these uh, applications might die down, but quite to the contrary, you know, as more and more things start to open, uh, the emphasis on doing so safely has only increased. So we're seeing more and more listen talk into a variety of applications uh, just to ensure that, you know, as more and more people are starting to gather, they're doing so in such a way that, you know, isn't putting people at risk. And, you know, sort of the classic listen talk application would be that that tour group uh, could be manufacturing floor, could be theme park, could really be anything. If I was concerned about uh, security, are there things in place with Listen Talk to make sure that only the people I want listening are listening into my conversation? Yeah, absolutely. That's a good question. Listen Talk was built with security in mind. So there's three levels of encryption, subscription, authentication, encryption. And then again, it's a physical pairing uh, to a leader. So no one who has not been physically paired to the group would be able to join that audio. Most commonly, we think of Listen Talk as a two way communication system, but can I still? use listen talk to satisfy ADA requirements? Are there listen only receivers? What are my component options? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not only is there a listen only mode uh, right on an LK1 transceiver uh, that the leader can configure, but in the scenarios where you know that you will never use the two-way function, we offer two receive only options for the participants in the group. So you would still use one LK1 for the leader and any sub leaders, and then all the participants, um, you can choose between the LKR11, which has all of the features, including NFC pairing that the LK1 does, or the LKR12, which is a really basic pared down listen only receiver. And there's some cost savings involved with that. If I needed to deploy hundreds of listeners to just a few uh, speakers, then I would probably want to save and put my funds into the listen only units uh, to, to save a little bit on my budget. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I would say nine times out of 10, we're selling the transceiver unit, the LK1, because people really like the flexibility and the ability to, to um, use it in one way or two way mode. But there are certainly cases, you know, we're an assistive listening company, wouldn't be listen if we did not build a straight up assistive listening solution. Same charging platform, we can use them interchangeably in this docking bay here. Absolutely. And one thing to note is the LKR11 does offer NFC pairing, so you can physically pair it with a leader with just a tap, but the LKR12 would need to be paired in a tray. And it would also um, accept 2.0 updates. I mean, like we would update this unit the same way we would update all of the units in our system? Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And in fact, if you have existing units in the field, just be sure to remember to update them if you're gonna add on any additional new units uh, so that they can be compatible and as well as the docking station tray. So so Sam, I see there's a whole variety of, of headset options. I mean, the, the very lightweight booms to single ear muffs, double ear muffs, heavy duty double ear muffs, even heavier duty. Looks like they're designed to go under hard hats. And yep. then finally some more slick sort of in-ear buds. All these different headsets and arrangements. Well, what do we need all of these for? I mean, what, what are we? Well, doing it's a these? it's a great question because you know I think we've gone over you know listen talk can go into such a really a wide array of different environments, um, but what we found uh, is one of the probably our the biggest place that listen talk tends to go into is into manufacturing facilities uh, anywhere. We're in a really loud environment, anywhere where you need that clear communication, uh, that clarity of audio, but it might be loud. You know, you have machines going, and obviously the, in the last uh, 18 months or so, there have been additional challenges with uh, mask wearing and forced uh, separation, distancing. 
so we've had those those additional challenges that made clear communication even more uh, difficult to achieve. So in those environments, you know, something like, uh, you know, a little uh, slip over ear headset or, uh, you know, a basic ear uh, microphone uh, isn't, isn't going to cut it. So we do make the full dual muff headsets. We make headsets that you can use with a, uh, a hard hat, as you know, uh, because we go into some of the most challenging uh, audio environments that you could possibly imagine. I mean, we're, you know, our uh, definitely our biggest clients for this product are, you know, many of the big main plants and all the places that didn't have the luxury to go work from home over the last 18 months, uh, all the places that were you know, manufacturing many of the products that we were hoarding, uh, th that who's really using our products, the, you know, the people who, uh, you know, it's funny when we first came out with this, it was really a tour guide system. It was for those places to bring customers in and, and give them a tour of their facility uh, be able to hear really clearly while you're on that tour. Maybe you're taking investors in, maybe you're uh, trying to sell them on your services. But what we found is throughout the, you know, the last 18 months, they found these, you know, just to train employees or do, you know, basic, uh, you know, HR training or, and so to do that and still be able to hear clearly, you do need those, uh, you know, kind of industrial style headsets and, uh, and you've and made such a flexible product, it's, it's no wonder that people have come up with all these different ways to use it, you know? The yeah, I mean, that has been, you know, it, it's been one of the really fun things about selling something like Listen Talk is, you know, I th you know, when we first developed it, we thought, you know, this is, this is a really amazing, top of the line, great tour guide system. And I should note, it works awesome as a tour guide system. And, <laughs> you know, I think it stands, you know, next to anything that, uh, you know, it, it really stands alone, frankly, as a, as a tour guide system. But it has been really neat over the last uh, four years since we came out with it to see all the unique and uh, cases that people have found and uh, unique applications that people have found to use this in. It, it's one of the most fun things, uh, you know, the, the ingenuity of our customers as they've discovered unique ways to, to make this work. Um, why don't you take us home and... Uh... Got it. Sam, Mikey, thanks so very much for joining us today here on Gear Talk. Talking Gear. We appreciate your time. I hope uh, that you were able to share some highlights and things that you're very proud of. We look forward to uh, continuing to use and share the information, uh, the gospel of Listen and Talk with as many as will listen. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you having us. Thanks for having us. Gear Talk. Talking gear.